Hello everyone. Welcome back to another video. And if you're new here, then welcome. Before I get started for today's video, I just want to send a quick thank you to all you guys who have checked out or supported this channel by either liking, subscribing, or even just watching my content. We've now gone over 200 views on the channel across all these videos. And we now have double digit subscribers on the channel, which to me is pretty crazy. I, I didn't think that would happen this quickly. So again, a big thank you to you guys. And if you're new here, I would encourage you to hit the subscribe button if this is something that you like. For today's video, what I wanna do is do a little bit of a different type of video. We're gonna be getting away from the US today and I'm just gonna be talking about Canada, uh, our neighbors to the north. And to do that, uh, I have put down about 25 facts about Canada and I'm just gonna be going through them and talking about it. And hopefully you learn something new or you find it interesting. And most importantly, you find it relaxing. So to make this a little bit more ASMR-y, uh, I wrote down the facts instead of having them on my phone. And I have them in this notebook here. You can ignore the cheesy quote. It was, I just went for something where I had paper. Um, and I like this notebook because it has like this really textured um, cover and you can make a lot of nice sounds on it. And basically I just wrote down 25 facts about Canada um, that either I like or that I found. And yeah, hopefully you can either learn something or you find it interesting and relaxing. So I have it marked right here with this bookmark and I'm just going to flip to that page and flip it open. And I'm going to have the book kind of notebook kind of like this, like I'm almost like reading to someone. And Sorry. Since we're doing Canada, uh, I have a red pen that I'm going to use and I'm going to just be crossing off the facts as we go so I don't lose my place and maybe we can get some writing sounds in there too. So uh, we have not talked about Canada on this channel. We really haven't talked about many countries outside of the U.S. It's been mostly like a U.S. based channel and I kind of want to branch out a little bit more with that. So I'm hoping this video will help accomplish that. So I'm just going to get st started and yeah, let's go. I'm gonna click. Okay, fact number one. Canada is the biggest country in the Western Hemisphere. And if you don't have your hemispheres down, the Western Hemisphere is marked at the Prime Meridian, which runs through England. So it is the largest country west of there. And Canada is actually bigger than the entire European Union by landmass. So pretty large. Okay, fact number two. In terms of land area, Canada is also the second largest country in the world. Again, by total land area, not population. It is second only to Russia, which stretches across Europe and much of Asia. Okay. Fact number three. Canada only has one border. That would be the border between Canada and the United States, 
to the south. It has no northern neighbors, although you might debate whether Greenland, it's not really a border, but it's near Canada, very close to Canada. Fact number four. There are a lot of large cities in Canada, um, but the capital of Canada is the city of Ottawa. Fact number five. Canada has a population of around 38 million people. And that's as of the 2020 data that we have. But due to its size, in terms of land area, uh, it is technically one of the most sparsely populated countries in the world. When you think about the size of Canada and you think about 38 million people compared to about what, 300 million plus in the United States, um, and the size of Canada, um, that's not going to be a lot of people per square mile or square kilometer, whatever metric you like to use. And on that topic, um, I'm going to be using both the English measurements and the metric system for this video uh, when talking about distances. Only 15% of my subscribers and viewers come from the United States, and I recognize that the U.S. is one of the only countries that uses the English system. So I want to give you guys a, not confuse you guys with miles or kilometers or things like that, so I'm just going to include both. Okay, moving on. Fact number six. I can't put up six fingers because I'm holding a book right now. <laughs> um, but fact number six. There are two official languages of Canada. Those are English and French. And you'll know that English is spoken probably most widely across Canada. French is kind of restricted to the French-speaking provinces and the major cities of Montreal and Quebec, which are in the eastern part of Canada. That's the part that I'm actually closest to, is the French-speaking side. Okay. Fact number seven. This is an interesting one. Uh, Canada, not the United States, is actually the number one consumer of donuts in the world. People in Canada eat roughly one billion donuts per year which is wild. Um, but you can thank my one of my favorite establishments, Tim Hortons, for that. <laughs> okay. Fact number eight. Canada officially gained independence and became its own country on July 1st, 1867. It was formerly part of the British Empire, but Canada gained its freedom from the British then, like a lot of the countries um, that were part of British imperialism. Fact number nine. 81% of the Canadian population lives in cities. So that means only 19% live in kind of the more rural areas, which is a pretty big disparity. But some big cities in Canada that people live in include Vancouver, Edmonton, Calgary, Ottawa, Winnipeg, Toronto, and Montreal. And there's a couple more cities in there, but I think I hit the major ones there. Canada's lowest recorded temperature 
is the same as the average surface temperature of Mars, which that's wild. As we all know, it gets cold in Canada. You don't have to live there to realize that. But the coldest temperature ever in Canada was negative 81.4 degrees Fahrenheit. And for the Celsius people, that would be about negative 63 degrees Celsius. Now it gets cold here in Massachusetts, but it doesn't get that cold. That's really cold. Okay. And I just realized I've gone through this whole video and I haven't done any sounds. might periodically do some sound breaks in between some of these facts to break it up a little bit. Okay, fact number 11. Canada has the longest coastline of any country in the world. When you think about it, Canada touches the Pacific Ocean, it touches the Arctic Ocean, and it touches the Atlantic Ocean. And then you also have Hudson Bay, which has a lot of coastline that borders the Arctic Ocean as well. So there are, if you like the beach or being near the ocean, Canada is your place to go, although it will be kind of cold. Okay. Fact number 12. Some major mountain ranges in Canada, there are three of them. The major ones are the Rocky Mountains, which people in the U.S. will be familiar with. The Coast Mountains, which go up kind of the western spine of Canada, uh, near Vancouver and up towards Alaska. And the Laurentian Mountains, which are in the province of Quebec. Kind of on the eastern half. Okay, we're almost halfway done. Actually, we're about halfway done. This is a fact that I'm sure many of you guys who are into politics know this. Um, the head of the Canadian government is the Prime Minister, who is Justin Trudeau. flip the page. Okay. Fact number 14. Going back to the border between Canada and the U.S., Canada's border with the U.S., is the longest international border in the world. It stretches all the way from Washington. Also, people forget that it borders Alaska, which is a U.S. state as well, so that's more border. And stretches all the way to Maine, so this literally goes coast to coast. And that border is approximately 5,500 and 25 miles long and in kilometers that would be approximately 8,892 kilometers that's pretty long <laughs> okay 
fact number 15. If you end up in the town of Churchill, Manitoba, which is one of the northern provinces of Canada, it's known as the polar bear capital of the world. It's located right in the middle of something that's known as polar bear, polar bear alley, excuse me. In the US, we have tornado alley. In Canada, they have polar bear alley, which to be honest, sounds a little bit more fun. <laughs> and in this part of Canada, polar bears will freely walk through the town of Churchill to access the Hudson Bay to the north. I don't know about you, but if I saw a polar bear rumbling through town, I would be booking it in the other direction. <laughs> but it would be really cool to see, for sure. As somebody who likes nature, that would be pretty cool. Okay, fact number 16. Even though Canada gained its independence in the 1800s, Canada did not get its own flag until 1965, nearly 100 years after it gained independence. So the flag you see today, the Canadian flag with the two red stripes the white one down the middle, and the maple leaf in the middle, was not the official flag until 1965. And you actually see a lot of countries today, uh, mainly Australia, New Zealand, a lot of the Pacific Islands still have, and a lot of actually the Caribbean Islands, all still have the British crosses on it and Canada was no exception to that up until 1965. Fact number 17. There are more lakes in Canada than anywhere else in the world. Of those lakes, 563 of them are greater than 100 square kilometers or 39 square miles in size. And as we know, some of the Great Lakes extend into Canada. Superior is one of them. And then you've also got the Great Slave Lake which is in the northern, I think, believe in the Northwest Territories of Canada, up in the north. Okay. Fact number 18. Three Canadian islands are among the ten biggest islands in the world. Baffin Island, which is close to Greenland, is more than double the size of Great Britain. And then the two other islands that are in the top 10 are Victoria Island and Ellesmere Island. And those are both roughly the size of England. So pretty big islands. Not many people live there, but Canada's got some pretty big places. Fact number 19. There are a couple of major rivers in Canada. The two most well-known are the St. Lawrence River, which I'm very familiar with. Uh, I've been to the banks of the St. Lawrence before. It is a big river. Uh, that will extend kind of to the eastern half of Canada. And the other river 
is the Mackenzie River, which starts at Great Slave Lake in the Northwest Territories and empties into the Arctic Ocean. It is one of the only rivers in the world that empties out into the Arctic. Fact number 20. So the word Canada is actually derived from a indigenous language held by the Huron Iroquois native peoples. Um, it's known as Canada, which is spelled K-A-N-A. T A. So slightly different from the modern spelling. And that word means village or settlement in their native language. So that's pretty cool. Fact number 21. The first Europeans to settle in Canada were not the English or the British, or the French, but they were the Vikings who came to Canada around 1000 AD. And that expedition was led by Leif Erikson and he landed with his group of Vikings in the modern day province of Newfoundland. Ing da ding da Durgan. <laughs> if you got that reference, we can absolutely be friends. <laughs> All right. Fact number 22. As many of you probably know, the symbol of Canada is the maple leaf. You can find the maple leaf on the flag of Canada, as I've already mentioned, the big red leaf right in the middle of it. You can also find the maple leaf on the Canadian penny and the much, uh, <laughs> the <laughs> tortured franchise, the Toronto maple leafs have, are named after the maple leaf, obviously. And just, I wanna do a quick shout out. Uh, as a Bruins fan, I wanna thank Toronto for all of their choke jobs in the playoffs over the last 10, 15 years. Some of my best memories as a Bruins fan came against Toronto. So thank you for that. And I'm sorry you had to deal with such a crap team for so long. Fact number 23. Even though European settlers did not arrive in Canada until 1000 AD, humans have been present in Canada since around 20,000 BC. Scientists found a number of stone tools along the banks of the Bluefish River in northern Yukon that date back to that time. So those humans likely came over the land bridge between North America and Russia and came to settle in Canada. Okay, we're flipping the page again. Fact number 24, Canada has the sixth highest life expectancy of any country in the world. Canadians live to an average age of 81.16 years, which is very good. I don't know what they're eating up in Canada or what they're doing, but 
it's obviously working. So if you want to live a long life, Canada might be the place to be. And our final fact, fact number 25. <clears throat> Canada is very heavily forested. 10% of the world's forests can be found exclusively in Canada. <clears throat> Excuse me. When you think about all the forests in the world, stretching across Siberia, the rainforests, the hardwood forests of North America, and the tropical jungles of Asia. That's quite a few trees. So, and Canada had some pretty bad wildfires this year. Uh, and I'm hoping that those will eventually die down uh, and don't take place next year because that was, I know that was tough for a lot of people. And even here in Massachusetts, um, the air quality was really poor this summer because all the smoke from the fires down in Canada, up in Canada, came down here. And there are some times when you went outside and it was challenging to breathe at times. So I'm hoping they get a bit of a respite from that. Okay. So I'm going to close this up. So that was 25 facts about Canada. I'm going to try to do this with more countries. And again, if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up and consider subscribing because uh, we have a lot more content geared around, uh, coming geared around international topics, different places, and also, as you can see in some of the other videos, I go to a lot of different places and I'm hoping to branch out to more places than just Massachusetts and maybe travel around a bit more. Ideally, the long-term plan for this channel is to go to different states, different countries, and really get immersed in all the different cultures and customs in different states and different countries. So if that's something you want to see, definitely subscribe. There's a lot of big plans coming for this channel. And I'm hoping that they can be realized at some point. So again, thank you for watching. And once again, I hope you guys are doing well. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care.